So once again with the storming, man, it was a tough fight for you. Yeah, mate, tricky old fight. Not really exciting. There was a lot of time I was on top and he knew I was trying to elbow, like control risk come over. He was like monitoring coming, so a couple of times, but he obviously knew my game. He was very fit, strong, and his cardio was good, which made him stay the fight longer and keep moving. So, But once I went to his guard, I'm like heavier in there, or half guard. I knew I need to get half guard or guard. This is where I need to win the fight. Don't take chances against this guy, because he threw flying knees, spinning elbow. I'm like, whoa, watch, watch, watch. Take him, and he was strong on some takedowns. He defended a couple of times, but then I said, get down. And, and I just grinded at the fight. My coach says, don't worry about crowd. Don't be trying to fucking like, listen to people knock and finish them out and do this. You do what you need to do to get the fight win, and that's it. If people don't like your fight then, even if they don't like it, they'll still watch the fight. <laughs> that's it, they'll still watch it. So, the belt will be next for you? I think that's a good idea, but... With the golden boy? I think the Golden Boy is the only guy like that. You know, that's the f that's the fight that makes sense. Um, Marion, I think because he won two fights in a row now, lightweight. <clears throat> he come up from featherweight sometime, and uh, he beat two good guys. So he's like the next guy to fight for title or me. But he's obviously made weight. So the things about me making weight, but 16 weeks I'll make weight against this guy and fight him because we know Gamrot just make belts fake him because he's not happy. You know, I'll yeah, say really? it. Oh, I think he's just not happy. He's like. He maybe thinks I'm getting more money, but no, 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 no. He's get paid very good money, yeah, you know. Really? He's get paid very, very good money. I know this, not for a fact, but I know he's get paid very good money, and he won't get this in other promotion because if he went to other promotion, he lose a the fight. They'd be like, "Fuck you," you know. So he has to, he has to appreciate what KSW do for him, you know, because he got a good, you know, good roots, a good facility to build him up like KSW did. Fair enough business, other guys come in and he maybe gets a little bit jealous new guy coming, but that's what champion, you got to stay there, you champion, you keep fighting whoever comes up. They always need someone new to take the belt. But I know like for KSW, it's better business for European champion, different guy, not Polish guy. For sure. I think that's what they yeah, want. Really? I think that's what they want, new champion. Not that they don't like him, but I think it's for the promotion sake, you know. Will Gamrod go to the UFC? No, I don't think he will, no. I don't yeah. think. I think if I was him, I wouldn't go. If I was in his shoes, I wouldn't go. I would stay with KSW. I'm not saying that just to, you know, for me to fight him, but I think if he wants to be smart and a good living, but if he wants to go and test himself, he's getting good guys brought in to fight from KSW, but if he really wants to go and go to UFC, he's going to go in there and fight someone in top 10, you know, and it ain't going to be no easy fight. And it's, does he take that chance and then lose, and then oh, shit, lost one, lose another one, and then whoa, what, what happens then? He go back to KSW or something, but he should stay. It will be the same then. No, no, no. It's the thing about losing. He don't want to lose the fight, but I'm not scared to lose the fight. I lost against boys in Brazil and all this. You know this, yeah. so I'm not really worried about this here. I'll go and fight the guy, but I think he should stay with KSW because he's getting he's getting a lot better than what a lot of other fighters are getting. So he should stay there. <clears throat> you sure you will make the weight? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I. I can make a weight for 70. Look at my body frame, you know. I wasn't much bigger than him in there, you know, like a little bit maybe, but I can make lightweight, 100% lightweight. That's my weight. Just don't eat uh, Polish sweets. Don't bring Polish sweets back home and eat them all night in bed, but I can, I can fight for title. 16 weeks I can make lightweight, without a doubt, man, without a doubt. Yes, you know I should. We have to fight for interim title next, and then after this year we fight for the belt, the real belt. He don't want to go now. He wants to sit back a wee bit and see what's up. Looking for me to lose against someone, you know. He wants me to lose because his style will beat everyone else. You know. My takedown defense is good for him. So we'll end up just striking on the feet. And he's not really dangerous on the feet. You know, he's like awkward punches, but not really hard puncher like Boris, his boyfriend. Boris is like just a little bunches about too much. Boris dances about too much. He's like, hey, I'm over here, Tasmanian devil. Um, uh, I fucked this cool, but I wouldn't fight, you know, blah, blah, blah. Boris, stop, stop taking too much gear, mate, and just fight, relax, you know. But did you ever think about, you know, just uh, shake the hands with Boris and Gammer and so on? After a fight, I go to Matthew and I say, man, respect. He didn't even look at me. Never looked at me. His coaches, they, I was like, come on. Because they think I talk, and I was like, man, it's just promotion. And they laugh. And Boris, I say, come on, man, shit. He just 
he, it's him, not me. He did it. I should come to shake his hand. So what can I do about that? Nothing you can do. Like he's a wee bit butthurt about this. So I, I says it's all right. I understand he come out after a long layoff, and I was off nine months too. So like he had a lot of time. Maybe he gets one or two fight, and we fight again. I'll, I would fight him one more time, and so because I know we should, we should make, we should make a fight. At, after he wins a fight, we should make the fight some stage. Maybe not now. Maybe want me to go for lightweight, but have him in a freak fight, just one off fight. We fight again. I settle the score against him because next time will be a different fight for him, but different fight for me too. Because he knows he can't fight aggressive against me. He has to be more. But he can't. He can't fight like this. He needs to be. Rah, rah, rah. I, I, no. Why is that? I, I don't know. I don't know why he does this because I don't think he's very technical. Stand like two to two. I'm like. Jab, one, two, slip. He just has to go, bum, 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 bum. Away, out, move, move. And then, bum, 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 bum. Take down. That's like explosive every time. And like, in a long distance fight, it don't work, man. You can't do that. You know this, you have to be relaxed, stay relaxed in the body. I think that's a different thing he needs to do. But he's still a tough fight, man. Like, of course, I'm not acting like he's easy fight. Boris is a tough fight too. As a champion, Norman, you will have to stay at just at the KSW. Yeah. You know it. Yeah, yeah, oh, of course, yeah, I'm happy to stay here. I say once we say to the bosses, hey, big boss, let's sit down, have a little coffee, and you want me to talk, 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 let's pay a little bit more money, and then we talk, 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 how about so this? it's all about the money, will of you stay? Of course it is, like, I'm not going to lie, why should I sit and be like, oh, yes, I just want built, you know, I like you. We stay straight up on the camera, that's how I am, straight up. Show the money, Mr. Lewandowski. And then I talk, 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 whatever way you want, I'll suck your dick if you want. <laughs> David Norman, <laughs> you got the money. Uh, I heard you talk, talk, talking something about Mohamed Khalidov. Yeah, no, the, the guy said to me, what's your future? But my coach says to me, what would you like to do? Because I'm just like, I just go with the flow. Never real think too much next day. It's just like, just live in the moment, you know? So people say, man, you've got to have a plan about something. But I, I think when I plan and I never make it, I get fucked and break my heart, you know? So I just like, fuck this, man. Don't think about it. I said in UFC, you think, 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 think every day. Your mind just pressure. But now I'm just like, fuck it, you know, inside. Even though you care about it, but you just say, fuck it. And uh, But they say, what would you like to do future? Get lightweight belt, defend one time, fight. No one there for lightweight. Super fight against maybe Boris again, a big rematch, or super fight. Mohamed <laughs> Khalido. He's much bigger than you. He's a big, big boy, but we cut weight together in the sun, and I looked at him, you know, I was like, looking, oh, well, he's a bit bigger than me, but, like, I could go up to 85 kilos, you know, and we fight at 82 kilos, no problem. Like, you asked him, I train and grapple with big, strong boys, like, and it's like, no problem, man. Like, I can go up to 90, fight someone 90 kilos. 70, 70, Yeah, no problem. And, like, I cut 14 pounds last night, you know, it was very, very tough, man, but I felt all right in there, but it was still a bit different, man. It's... Cutting the water's not good for your brain, man. It's not good for your head. So it's like, you're a wee bit different. So be safe, take them down. Don't want them to throw some crazy shot. Like, lying like this. Oh, Park gets knocked out. But that's, you know, that's what I see maybe next three fights, something like this. But Mama Khalidov, I think he retired now. So, but if he ever needs a big fight, I'm going to be here. All right. <laughs> I have to ask it, Norman, because Fight Exclusive Night is saying that they pay you some money, you didn't return them. I tell you what, once I see Mr. Party Animal, Mr. Uh, Pavel... He's the party tell, animal? He tell him not to party too much, to do this here, and all the promotion work, we take a chop, and chop goes back to me. All right. But we talk after this, he come to meet me at the after party, I say, come in, Mr. Lewandowski will be there, whatever you want to say to him, come in, no problem. But he signed me for free fights and he pay fee for free fights. And I'm like, well, for promotion work, all this stuff come in the cage and push this guy live on Pulsat TV. No, no jack shit. I says half will be coming back and that's how it is. So we're, we're talking right. about this at the minute. Through another guy, another friend of his. It wasn't him, it was another friend that gave the money, not him. Another friend gave the money. So we sorted that out. And I say to him, man, why do you keep talking shit on the internet? I tell you situation about me everything like yeah. honestly if I didn't want it, I would just cut you off and say nothing so I say to you text me man just ring me and say hey man what is the deal I say to you here this is the deal look man I come and meet you face to face and we sort it out and he say some shit but I say nothing on the camera he say some shit I say come to me man when my bullshit sort it I sort you but first for promotion work man 
I get some of that back out of all that stuff. Like, come you on live on TV and do this, do that on TV. You know, for his sake. And so me just to give up, fuck, no, no chance. I say once we get a deal half down the middle, he take the half back and the half comes to me. That's it now, man. Thank you very much and congrats. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers, bro. Thank you.